Hi everybody, it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet these cute and simple Chihuahua coffee cup cozies. Now you don't have to make them into a Chihuahua. You can make them in any colors that you want to and simply by putting the ears down it becomes a different puppy. It would be a lot of fun to make one to look like your dog. Now you can find this free crochet pattern on my blog and as always I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make your Chihuahua or puppy cozies you can use any kind of number four medium yarn. You can use cotton, acrylic, or whatever you have on hand. I'm going to be using this light blue for the main portion of my koozie or cozy and I'm going to use this cream for the nose and the ears. I'll also be using just a little dab of black for the eyes and the details. Now <clears throat> you're going to need about two ounces of that yarn and again any medium weight number four yarn is perfect. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook and the H hook is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need some sort of a button and if you're looking for a cute button like these dog bone buttons I found them over in the scrapbooking section at Hobby Lobby and it came in an assortment of different shades of brown and some sparkly ones. They also have paw prints and buttons that are shaped like puppies and other things. You just need one decorative button that measures about an inch to an inch and a half. You'll need your needle to weave in ends and of course sew your parts on and your button and then of course you'll need a pair of scissors. We're going to be starting with the main portion of our cozy first and then we'll make the button tab, the nose and the ears last. We'll begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain 32 chains and I do recommend as I usually do that you chain this initial chain just a little bit loose. Don't pull it too tightly or the edge of your koozie will pull a little bit. So I'm chaining 32 chains. I've chained my 32 chains and we're going to begin by placing a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. There's the first chain, here's the second. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull that loop through both loops. The next stitch that we're going to make is a double crochet. So yarn over, go in the next chain loop and pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two loops. And so what we're going to be doing working across our chain is alternating single crochets and double crochets. So I'll place a single crochet in the next chain and then a double crochet in the next. Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet. So I'm going to be working across my initial chain alternating single crochets and double crochets working all the way across. I've completed this first row of alternating single crochets and double crochets. We began with 32 chains we started in the second chain from the hook, so we have 31 stitches. We ended on a single crochet. We're going to chain one and turn. What we're going to do for row two is we're going to begin right in that first stitch and stitch a double crochet. Then the next stitch will stitch a single crochet. We're going to be alternating again, stitching single crochets and double crochets. 
But what you'll notice is that we're going to be placing our double crochets in the single crochet stitch, and we'll be stitching our single crochets in our double crochet stitch. And that is exactly the way that it should be. We're going to be alternating single crochet and double crochet, but we want to make sure that our single crochet is stitched in a double crochet stitch, and our double crochet is stitched in a single crochet stitch. Single, double, single, and double. And this is what gives us that nice textured look. And we'll continue this all the way across on row two. So we're placing a single crochet in the double crochets and a double crochet in the single crochet, alternating all the way across this row. I've completed row two, alternating my singles and doubles making sure that my singles are stitched in a double and my doubles are stitched in a single stitch. Your last stitch should be a double crochet. We're going to chain one and turn. And the chain one on every row does not count as a stitch. Now, because our first stitch here is a double crochet, we're going to begin with a single crochet. And then, of course, our next stitch is a single, so we'll stitch a double. And so for row three, we're again alternating our single stitches and our double crochet stitches. Again, making sure that our singles are stitched in our double stitches and our double crochet stitches are stitched in our single crochet stitches. So I'm going to continue across for row three, stitching single crochet, double crochet, alternating across, and again, making sure that my single crochet stitches are stitched in a double and my double crochet stitches are stitched in a single crochet stitch. Working all the way across for row three. I've now completed row three. Your last stitch should be a single crochet, chain one and turn. And so now what we're going to do for four more rows is we're going to repeat row two and row three two more times. So we'll do another row of row two, another row of row three, row two, and row three, alternating our single crochets and our double crochets, making sure that we always place a single crochet in the double crochet and a double crochet in the single crochet. So just to repeat, we're going to be repeating <laughs> row two and row three two more times. So we'll have row two, row three, row two, and row three, and that will bring us up to row seven. I've completed those two repeats of row two, row three, row two, and row three. So you should have seven rows. When we come to our last stitch, we're going to single crochet, and now we're going to place a row of even single crochets all around all four sides of our cozy. We're going to turn our work, and we're going to single crochet evenly down the side of our first side. Now we don't have stitches to put our stitches in, so we're just basically going to eyeball it, eyeball this, and try to place our single crochets in the sides of the stitches. There is not a set amount that you should have. You just want to make sure that they're evenly placed, not too bunched up, not too far apart. All right, that brings us to our first corner. And we need to place, let's get that tail out of the way. There we go. We need to place two single crochets in that corner. 
and we're placing two because that's just going to help it move around that corner nice and smoothly and that brings us to the bottom of our koozie and so this part is nice and easy because we're just going to place a stitch in each one of those chains that we began that's our initial chain where we started and we can move across this relatively quickly just stitching a single crochet in each of those chains across. I've stitched those single crochets all the way across the bottom and now I'm to my next corner and I'm going to place that second single crochet in that corner and then I'm going to evenly single crochet up this other side the same way I did the other end. And again, there isn't a set amount of stitches. You just want to try to get your stitch, your single crochet, in the ends of the stitches and not the holes. It just gives it a little bit neater appearance if you can do that. There we go. And this brings us to this corner. Again, two single crochets in the corner. And now we're just going to place a single crochet in each of those stitches across the top. So I'll work my way across the top, placing one single crochet in each of those stitches. I've placed a single crochet in each of those stitches across the top and that brings me back over here where we started. I'm going to put a second single crochet in that corner and I'm going to join to that first single crochet. Now don't tie your work off or cut your yarn because we're going to go ahead and make the button tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in the next two stitches and then we're going to chain one. And that just brings us up on top so we can do some stitching here. We're going to single crochet in that same stitch and then single crochet in the next three. So we'll have four single crochets. We're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to single crochet in those four single crochets. Oops, there we go. Two, three, four, chain one, and turn again. Single crochet in those four single crochets. Two, three, four. We're going to chain one and do it one more time one single crochet in those four single crochets. Chain one and turn. Now we're going to single crochet in this first single crochet. Then we're going to chain three. We're going to skip those two in the middle and single crochet in the last single crochet. That's going to make our buttonhole. We're going to chain one and turn. We'll single crochet in that single crochet. And then we're going to place three single crochets in this chain three space. So one, two, three. Then we'll single crochet in the last single crochet. So now we have a button tab. We're going to cut our yarn and now we're going to tie off. All right, so we need to grab our needle and we need to weave this in. So we'll thread that onto our needle and we'll weave in that end. And remember, when you're weaving in, try to go through stitches and fibers of the yarn. Go one way, then turn, 
and come back the way you came. It makes for a nice tight weave in. All right, so that's done. And the only other one we need to do is this one. So I'll weave this one in real quick, and then I'm gonna show you how to make those ears for your puppy. To make the ear, we're going to begin with our slip knot, and then we're going to chain nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to begin by placing a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Now we're going to place a single crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to place a half double crochet in the next two. We'll place a double crochet in the next stitch. We'll place a half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then in the last stitch, we're going to stitch three single crochets. One, two, and three. Move our tail out of the way. And now we're going to work down the opposite side of our chain and repeat what we did. All right, so we'll go in that first stitch there and stitch a single crochet. Get that tail out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Snug everything down. All right, so now we're going to stitch a half double crochet in the next two. So there's one and two. We'll stitch a double crochet in the next. We'll stitch a half double crochet in the next two. One and two, and then we'll stitch a single crochet in the last two. Now we're going to tie off, and we're going to leave ourselves about 10 or 12 inches so that we can sew this onto our cozy. All right, so I tied that off. I'm going to go ahead and take my needle and weave that back in where we started, and sometimes you might have a little hole here because we put three single crochets, and so you wanna go ahead and close that up by going around it just in case, because we don't want a little hole in the top of our puppy or dog ear. All right, and then I'll just go ahead and weave that in, making sure that it is secure. All right, and clip that off. So now we can take this ear, and I've already got one sewn on here for you so you can see. There we go. And we'll go ahead and sew on the other ear. Thread our tail of yarn on. I'm kind of going by centering about right here on our cozy or koozie, whatever you want to call it. We're going to lay it forward, and we're going to whip stitch across the bottom. Let's see if it's how we like it. All right. And now we'll just go back through and make some more stitches, making sure that that little ear is going to stay on. There we go. This needle isn't as sharp as some of my other ones, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm going to take this. I'm going to bring it up. I want to make sure that I've got it weaved in nicely and it's not going to come off my little cozy. There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and clip that off. And now it has two ears and it needs a nose and face. I'm going to be starting with a brown here. I was going to use black, but I'm going to use this brown, and then we'll bring in the lighter color for the rest of the nose. 
So we're going to make a slip knot. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to place six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch, and then we're going to cut our yarn. We just wanted the tip of the nose to be a different color. All right, so I'm going to bring in my cream color that is my nose for my dog. And what we're going to do next is we're going to place two single crochets in each of those six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We had six, we did two in each, and now we're going to join to that first single crochet. And right now it looks kind of flat. And also, don't worry about that hole in the center. We're going to come back in and fix that. All right, now for row three, we're going to place one single crochet in each of those 12 around. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and get in there, twelve, we'll join back to that first single crochet, chain one, and I'm going to take this and flip it out so that you can see, there's our little nose, and we're going to do this one more time, all right, so, one single crochet in each of those single crochets around. All right, I've lost count. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll join to our first, get back in there, <laughs> to our first single crochet. And this is all the bigger that I make the nose. If you're making maybe a hound dog or you want your dog nose to be a little bit bigger, you can do a few more rows if you want to. Now I'm going to tie off. I'm going to leave myself about 12 inches so I can sew it on. There we go. Now, the next thing we need to do is make sure that the center of our dog nose doesn't have a hole. So we're going to turn it wrong side out. We're going to take that beginning tail of yarn and close up that hole first. Okay, and so what I do is I put my finger up there so I can see where that hole is. And I'll just make some stitches around the center. Gently pull that in. There we go. And weave that in. All right. Um, the next thing I do is I just do a little stay knot right here just to make sure those are going to stay put. All right, and then we'll cut those off. Now, if you would rather weave those in, then instead of making that little stay knot, you can. I just know this isn't really going to get messed with because it's inside. And so there's your nose. 
Now, if you want to add a little bit of stuffing in there, you can, or maybe some wound up yarn. If you're worried about your nose going flat, I don't, I don't, I don't worry about it, but you can if you want to. Just something to help it hold its shape. All right, so here is our cozy, or cozy, whichever way you want to say it. Got my nose placed where I want it. I'm going to hold it with my thumb, and I'm just going to do some whip stitches around the edge to hold it on. And if you want to pin it in place, you're worried it's going to move, you can do that also. And remember what I always say is you do what works best for you. If you'd rather use a magic circle, if you'd rather use a different stitch, a different way of doing something, that's certainly okay. I try to give you some different options of ways that you can do things. All right, so I'm back around the start. There's my little nose. I'm going to go back in and just weave that in, making sure that I stay behind that nose so it doesn't show through to the front. All right, well, let's give our puppy some eyes. And what I do is I kind of push this down and I look up here, make sure that you go through a stitch and not a hole because we are going to add some French knots. Leave you some tail of yarn back here so that we can weave that in so our eyes don't come off or come through. We're going to wrap that around our ne needle four times and go back in again going through a stitch next to it so we don't lose that eye through a hole all right and then we'll take this tail of yarn we'll make a little knot in the back we're only cutting off the tail portion we're going to go across where the nose is and we're going to center that so that we have an eye on the other side and do the same thing. Wrap it four times, loosely, not tightly, go through a stitch and not a hole, and pull that to the back. Gently, don't do it too tightly or you'll lose your little eye. All right, and now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little loop stitch through there so that holds. And now we're going to make the smile or the mouth on the dog. So we're going to put our needle through and we're going to come up right at the base of the nose. Make a straight line this way. It's three straight lines. Let me pull this to the inside there so you can see. That's upside down, of course. <laughs> and then we'll just weave this in in the back. All right. Here's our little puppy, little eyes, little mouth, little ears, and if you want your ears to come down, they can. And of course, now we just need to put this on our cup, but don't forget, it needs a button. All right, the last thing that our koozie or cozy needs is a button. So I've got my dog bone button. I'm, I think I'm going to place it this way. I was going to do this, but I think it'd be cuter this way. All right, now what I do is I take the cup I'm going to put this on. And I give it a little bit of a stretch. We don't want it to fall off, so we're going to give it a little bit of a stretch. Looks like about right there. I'll take my needle and just make a little whip stitch there. That way I know exactly where to put that button.
and make sure you sew this on securely because it's going to get a lot of use buttoning and unbuttoning on your cozy all righty and another thing is make sure when you're sewing on this button that you go through stitches not just the holes or it won't stay secure I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to pull that string or my crochet hook I should say to the back so that I can secure this <clears throat> just going to give it a couple more stitches and tie a couple more knots one two and three and again if you think this knot's not going to hold you can grab your fray check or your fabric glue and that will hold it nice and securely all right so now it's all done and ready to go on my coffee mug <laughs> That is so cute. So whether you're making a chihuahua with the ears up or a puppy with the ears down, this chihuahua mug or puppy mug cozy is perfect for all the dog lovers in your life. Make one that looks like your puppy. Mm -hmm.